Welcome to One Classroom. I'm Rich Franklin, and I'm going to be breaking down some of the most exciting knockouts and submissions that we've seen in the One Championship cage. Today I'm going to show you why Ev Ting was able to pull off his amazing guillotine choke at Age of Champions in Kuala Lumpur. We see here that Ev sets up a body lock sweep from over under position. Executes a beautiful sweep here, and in the scramble, his opponent begins to get up. While he's getting up, his arm is posted there on the mat, which gives Ev the opportunity to weave his arm under the chin and secure this guillotine choke. This is only going to lead to a further scramble as Ev's opponent begins to climb up the cage. The neck is exposed while his hands are on the mat. Ev is able to lock up the choke with his hands on the opposite side here while simultaneously using the cage to trap his opponent into this position so that he can't back out or gain leverage. There's nowhere for him to run, air is being cut off, and it leads to the tap out. Let's take a look at this one more time in full speed. Ev's in an over-under position, sets up a beautiful body lock sweep in the scramble. His opponent here leaves the neck exposed. He's trapped against the cage, nowhere to run. Ev locks up the guillotine choke and forces him to tap out. Beautiful execution. I'm going to show you how to execute a simple guillotine choke in the gym. The guillotine in its most basic form is a choke that one fighter does to another when he's able to slide his arm in underneath the chin. You have to get underneath the chin using this piece of your forearm pressing against this piece of the throat. As I slide under the chin, the arm comes across and I lock hands on the other side. To actually create pressure, I'll lift. Now, as you can see, when I'm lifting, my opponent is actually able to lift his hips with me, alleviating some of the pressure. The reason why Ev was able to finish this choke in the cage is because he caught his opponent in transition from a takedown standing up off the cage. When his opponent was standing up, he left his neck exposed and slightly bent over. Ev took advantage, slid the arm in underneath the chin, gripped the other side, and when he uses hips to create pressure, the cage left his opponent nowhere to run. Therefore, finishing the choke. That's the lesson for today. Ask your instructor at your local MMA gym to run you through this technique and post your results at hashtag one classroom.